I wanted to do an episode about being a professional DJ, and I knew I had a perfect radio host in mind right here in Michigan. Now, Mojo from Mojo in the Morning, channel 95.5 and iHeartRadio.com, is the longest running morning show in Michigan's history. Also, he's nominated in the Michigan Radio Hall of Fame and is one of the top, top 40 radio hosts in the country. So I knew I had to get him on the show. Welcome to the Basquatch Hunter. We show our guests our love for fishing, and then we let them show us what they do. Whether it's a professional athlete or an industry professional, we include it all. We all chased our dreams to follow our careers. Now together, we will chase our Basquatch. The Basquatch Hunter. The Basquatch Hunter is brought to you by FX Custom Rods. Quality, precision, performance. Zot Ford and DealsInTheD.com. Abu Garcia. Yak Gear. Feel Free Kayaks. Railblazer. Hold Everything. Berkeley. Your Fish. Our Science. Scales Fish Attractant. See the Difference. Produced by M1 Studios. Uh, this is really exciting. Today, I get to be a guest on one of the largest radio morning shows in the country. This show is hilarious. They have phone scams, they have pranks, they have skits, they have all these really cool things on this morning show and they're so funny. So we're at iHeartRadio right there. Uh, it's raining out. I passed the place a bunch of times. Well, we're on the air in like 20 minutes, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, we're inside. I don't know why I'm whispering. I feel like I have to whisper because there's like, there's people on the air right now in this place. But check this out. There's Taylor Swift. Like, look at this. This is such a cool office. There's ping pong. There's foosball. There's copy machines. There's presents. There's cool couches. This is Mike McKinstry, the host of The Basquatch Hunter, and I'm here at iHeartMedia right now um, for channel 95.5, and I'm gonna go on the air with Mojo and Spike and the whole crew here, and we're gonna talk about something really exciting. We're gonna take Mojo out on a kayak in our world and show him how to catch fish and how fishing works, but first, we're gonna go on the air with him. I'm gonna do a really fun interview on the radio. You guys can check it out at iHeartMedia.com um, and the iHeartRadio app, um, but we're gonna do an interview first, and then I'm gonna take him in my world and show him how to catch fish. It should be a lot of fun, so stay tuned, guys. So we're behind the scenes, we're getting ready to go in the studio in a minute. Come on in guys! And there we go. <laughs> The Basquatch Hunter himself is in studio with us this morning. Mike McKinstry is with us right now. All right, so here's the, the interesting part of this. I only said yes to this because, and I have zero interest in going fishing. Like I really do. Are you too grossed out by it or do you think it's too boring? To me, to me there seems like nothing that would be worse than fishing. <laughs> uh, there's no electronic device that I can watch <laughs> on a boat unless it's a depth finder to know exactly right. how, you know how how much uh, ground we have to cover but um, but I like your concept of your show because from what I have watched of, of Basquatch Hunter is you bring people like me out there that don't know how to fish yeah. and, and you just sit there but they have interesting occupations right and you like to talk to them about what they do and what they're all about yeah well it's all about uh you know i quit my career to do this for a living and it, it's one of those things where i like people who follow their passions and i like people who do things for happiness not for you know material things and and that's why i kind of find my guests kind of like you you know you've been doing this for so long and you you followed your dreams and your passions to do what you want to do for a living and so did i and i like to share that with people so when I bring you out on the water, it's not just about fishing, it's about sharing your story, it's about sharing, you know, how you got where you are too, but also enjoying the peace and the nature and, you know, all the fun stuff too. Here's the part that scares me. 
So when I was talking to him on the phone about the idea of doing this, mm -hmm. it wasn't until the end of the conversation that he told me that we weren't going to go on like some beautiful pontoon boat <laughs> and fish. Yeah. Will you tell everybody how we're going to be fishing? Yeah. So we're going to be fishing in kayaks, um, but it's not what you think of when you hear the word kayak. These things are. They're amazing. Do you know that? Do you know that I weigh almost 300 yeah, pounds for God's yeah. sakes? That I'm a big man. Yeah, I've had you know NHL players and stuff that are your size and you know athletic, um, and and they can okay. handle it. There's one thing you said. You said athletic. Yeah. I said athletic. <laughs> I understand that. But you know, these kayaks are made to stand up on. Like, I've been in the ocean with these things. Like, you can't flip them over. Like, you'll, it's, really? like a, it's a little. Oh, man, that sounds like a challenge. The only thing right there. It is. <laughs> I really am. I, I will tell you, I've watched uh, numerous episodes of yours, and you're very entertaining. You're an excellent interviewer. Uh, which, what, by the way, what was what was your original job that you did before you quit to, to do this show? Um, well, there's been a lot of them, but my main career was in promotional marketing. Okay. Um, so I did uh, I did a lot of promotional marketing stuff, which I've always been in sales my whole life. But I've also like I've been everywhere. I've done so many things. Um, you know, between sports and I had a, a bar restaurant at one point. You know, I just had a couple you know, music business, a bunch of other stuff. But well, after a few hours on the boat with Mojo, you might want to go back to one. Of those. Yeah. <laughs> you know what though? The coolest part about this job though, about the career that I chose, is that I get to meet cool people. Though. You know, like I get to go out and have experiences with people and do things like this, where I get to try out what you guys do for a living, and then bring you into my world and show you what I do. Yeah. And we can kind of like you know compare our hands afterwards. The concept is great, uh, Mike. It's it's a pleasure to have you in the studio with us, and looking forward to this. Yeah, me too, man. Thank you. Uh, uh, check him out, the Basquatch Hunter. All right, so we did the radio show. We had an awesome time on the air. Now we're gonna go fishing after this. So what are you what are you excited about? What are you scared about? What do you what do you think about the fishing part? Um, I actually, to be honest with you, I am excited. I live on a lake and I've got a boat and I never fish. You've never fished on that lake ever? Um, I went fishing one, that one time. I was on that lake on your about, lake. Yeah. Okay. One time out there for well over an hour, maybe two hours caught nothing and the funniest part is in front of my house is where all the guys who are f true fishermen <laughs> catch all the fish <laughs> catch all, everything they say that that's like the best place to yeah. go and catch um so i'm kind of excited about it you know um i uh i'll, I'll be honest with you i need a hobby <laughs> i don't i'm not gonna do radio for uh, uh a ton more years yeah so i need to have something to do like for free time so uh fishing has always been something this could that, be your gateway this might be it i, I mean i listen i golf I'm not a good golfer. Yeah. Uh, you know, I play basketball. I'm not a great basketball player. So why not fish and not be a great fisherman? Well, we're going to see if we can make you a better fisherman at least. Yeah. But at least we're going to teach you why we love the sport and show you why we love it. And maybe you'll get some little, uh, you know, it'll be contagious enough where you'll I'm find excited. some, you'll find some passion in it too. I, I, That's what I always do on the water. Because when you're on the water, there's nowhere to go. Like, yeah. you can't run away from an interview on the oh, water. Oh, man, so, me. So we get to talk about anything. And if you want to run away from it, you can't go that fast or far away. You know what I mean? Right. So you I get know. to have like real conversations and really get to open up in a way that people have never seen you or heard you at all. So like, that's the cool part is we get to show your listeners a different side of you. And then we get to show my viewers a different side of you too. I'm excited. So I, it's gonna be a lot of fun. No, I'm, I'm really excited for it. I, I to be honest with you. The concept to me is, is spectacular and having watched the show and how you do it, you're like, I, I told you on our radio show, you're a great interviewer. Like you do a that's great big coming job. from you. I mean, it's well, you're like, you're like listen, the interviewer. I, but, so. no, but, I, but honestly, you, you know, I think uh, Listen, I think the best interviewers are people who listen, yep. you know, and, and hear what's going on. All right, well, I look forward to getting you on the water and seeing the different side of you, so we'll see you on the water soon. I have to show up. Yes, <laughs> you have to show up. All right. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss what's next. The Basquatch Hunter will be right back. Uh, this is Mike McKinstry, the host of The Basquatch Hunter, and today I'm here with a really cool guest. I'm Mojo from iHeartRadio's Mojo in the Morning Show. And I don't know why I'm here. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid. This, I, I, are you sure you want me to do this with you? So, yeah. Okay. Th this might be the most right. entertaining blooper filled episode I've ever done. I am a very So afraid. this is, uh, he's used to being behind a desk at a mixing board where it's dry and it's safe. And uh, I mean, today it's gonna be safe, but you're gonna be out here catching fish today. I like, first off, I like fish. I mean, I, I eat fish like maybe during Lent, but I don't really <laughs> like to catch fish. So, so today's gonna be a little different for you. So before we hit the water too, I got these dry bags for you too. These are oh. feel free, the same company that makes these kayaks. These are awesome. Um, so anytime you go on the water from here on out, cause you're gonna fall in love with this, then now you have dry bags for if you If I too. fall off the kayak, can I like yes. put my, myself in one of these? Yes. Just all right, great. I you. love it, thank you guys. Awesome. So all right, let's go hit the water and catch some fish. If you feel comfortable doing that, you can just walk right into it and then I can push you off. Oh really, okay, all right. And all then right. I'll show you how to put the drive down once you get in. So. 
Just let's see. Yep, and just stand wide. All right, and there just sit. Go. Yep. Ah. All right. So then, uh, see, it's not too bad, right? No, this is actually really comfortable. Yeah, most people don't think of this when they think kayak. Yeah. <laughs> so once we get out there, I'll show you how to drop this down. So this goes in. Yep. This just turns. You're gonna have to show me where to get one of these. Okay. All right. Don't. So, this, this isn't gonna be like. It's like not a joke. I'm getting scammed right now. Yep. I'm like, this all like, right, see you later. Let's go. All right. I'm like floating out. All right, see you guys later. <laughs> Waiting for Spike to I, pop I, out that's, of the tree. That's Spike with a freaking yeah. hat on, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so how do you like it so far? I, I love it, I gotta be honest with you, my wife is gonna be so happy because this is like exercise for me. <laughs> Are you surprised? Cause it's not what you thought of when you thought kayak. Hey, no, I, honestly I thought that we were gonna be on like, you know, little kayaks and I was gonna be trying to move it along that way. But this is actually, got, this is nice. Yeah, you don't know you're gonna have some luxury. So right here, uh, if you ever see watercolor change where it's like brown to blue, yeah. the brown is sand bottom and the bluish or green is means there's vegetation or it's dark enough yeah. where the, the sun's not going through it. So we're gonna cast all along the shoreline. Cast just like that and then it's okay. like go and then when it hits the water, you just close that. All right, ready? Yep. There we go. Oh, you let oh. go with your finger. Son of a... Uh, close, the, close the bail. Okay, close yep. this uh, yep. and reel it in. Yep, there you go, reel it in. All right. Can you tell I've never done this before? Yep. There you go. And All hold right. the back of it with the other hand, just like that, perfect. Ready? Yep. And then let go. Oh! Look at that! Now close it. All close, right. Close the reel first, there you go. So you just let it sit for a second, and then you reel a little bit, let it sit for a second, and then reel it for a little bit. So this is the stuff that you guys do. You guys sit out here, <laughs> and you just wait for... Well, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of moving, so like, I'll, I'll, we'll cast like up oh, there. I, what is that? That's my bait. Oh, oh. I, that, oh, fish on, here we go, look at that. You got one? Yep. Wait, that's a prop. No. Nope. You set up. No, nope, this is how it works, look at that. Holy cow. How, come I, don't, how come I don't have one That's a fire? big rock bass, so look, this is. Look this at is, that. That's a rock bass? Yep, so they do this wiggle right there when you first touch them. Yeah. Oh my so God. That's a, that's a rock bass. We got our first fish of the day right wow. there. Second cast, by the way. I just want to point that out. That was two casts. You got to name five things in 10 seconds. That's easy. Ready? Five what? Five famous movie fish. Go. Mr. Limpet. Flipper. Three. Free Willy. Four. Five. Uh, six. Nemo. Seven. Nemo. Eight, Dory. Nine. Marlin. Ten. Got it. You got it. Ding, 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 ding. You know, you just, I started with the ones from the 70s from Don Knox. I, I know, what are you, you're, you're a young guy. Dude. Got another one? Yep. Yeah, this isn't fair. Oh, that's a largemouth bass. I feel like, I feel like I'm getting killed right now. Yeah, look at that, fish number two of the day. But fish. I still gotta get, I think I get Mojo on his fish now. I feel like you're showing off right now. It's almost like I fish. You know? It's a really small one though, but here's a nice little largemouth. Fought really nice. Uh, so now I got two species down so far on the same bait, using a Berkeley Little General. Uh, but now I gotta get Mojo on his fish, so let's get back out in the water. Ooh, and I got something, don't I? No. Do you? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah reel something. it in. Oh yeah, hold on. Hold reel on. it in? Hold on, hold on. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Hey now, all right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Swing it over. Okay, you touch it. <laughs> so here, I'll unhook it for you, but you're holding this one. Ah, come on. There you go. Will it bite me? No. Because we're catching and releasing? Yep, all catch and release. Well, now have you're you, a fisherman. Have you, ever had a, have you ever had a guest not catch a fish? Uh, I, I try to make sure they always catch fish, so. All right, okay. here's your first one. I gotta get you to hold it, so okay. I gotta come over to you. All right, all right. All right. There you go. Oh, look at this. The camera. Look at this, camera. Look at that guy. I'm going to name him Spike because <laughs> I'm going to throw him back. There you go, Spike. Back in the water. Ugh. Yep, and you get the nice slime on your hands. You got a towel right, oh. your, right there on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh. Look at him, always, already complaining about his hands being dirty. Do we have hand sanitizer? I actually do, my kayak. <laughs> All right, good job, man. Got your first kayak fish. Man, it's like high five and a handful of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> my hand's spit in your palm. <laughs> How does this feel compared to what you're used to? Because you're used to sitting in an office with, you know, people around you and walls. When you first called me and said, hey, do you want to do this? I loved it because I thought to myself, boy, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be interesting to host a radio show that you did a sport or some kind of a sporting thing while you're doing the show. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that would be really cool. So I, I've been diagnosed with ADD. And I joke all the time, and people have always said to me, you should try fishing, because fishing will help with your ADD. It does. It will, it will give you peace. Well, it's like sensory overload, but peaceful at the same time. Yeah. You know I mean, it's like an organized chaos. That's, how, my, that's how the show is, too. Like, our show is on its or, organized chaos. Yep. But that's how people like us operate, though, because when there's so many things going on, we're focused. Yeah. But when there's only one thing going on, we're like, wait a minute. Yeah, something... look, bird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I am. My wife and sons thought coming out here that I would be like five minutes and I'd be like, all right, let's go. Let's get out of here. But it's very peaceful. Yeah. It really is peaceful. <laughs> Sing to them. You might want to get closer to the shore. Near, far. Where no, don't, don't sing to him. He didn't mean it. Don't sing to him. All right, I'm going to spin around after this one. So what got you into doing radio? Was it something that you wanted to do when you were like in high school and you just pursued it? No, I, I wanted to be a play-by-play, -play, you know, Oh, announcer. like a sports commentator? Yeah, I was, okay. a, I was a huge Cubs fan and loved Harry Carey. And um, my dad told me to go to school and get a real job. <laughs> yeah. And I took a summer school class at a school in Chicago called Columbia College. Okay. And it was called Intro to Radio. I paid for it myself out of my graduation money from high school, and I just was hooked. Fell in love, and from there... Oh, fish what's on, your, fish what's on. Your class? Did you get one? Yep. This is a good largemouth bass. Oh, really? Yep. Oh my gosh. Wow. Picture of that, hold on. Here, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm making you hold this one. Oh God, no. Yep. Since you're not catching as many fish as I am. So Is that you thumb. rubbing it in? Yep, put your thumb right there and hold on. All right, there you go. all right. There you go, and that's a large right ball bass. A lot, all right. <laughs> right there. Go ahead and let it go. There you go. Is it better than you thought it was gonna be? Cause I know you had yeah. A lot of mixed emotions coming into this, if you're gonna like it I, or not. I didn't think it was gonna be as, as peaceful as it is. All right, well you got a little bit of a taste of kayak fishing and you got to catch a fish, which is awesome. Do you think it's gonna be something you're gonna do again now? If I can put a motor on this thing. And you can, yeah, actually. I can? Yeah, they make motor mounts for them. <laughs> actually, on it, I, I, out of all the, the things that I've done that I've never expected myself to do, this is one of those things where I could see myself doing it again. Awesome. That's all I wanted to hear. That's yeah. good. That's good. Well, thank you guys for watching. Mojo had an awesome time. I had an awesome time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the episode. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss what's next. The Basquatch Hunter will be right back. Hey guys, it's Mike McKinstry, host of The Basquatch Hunter. We had an awesome time filming with a really cool guest today, uh, but I had to stop to see my good friends at Zot Ford here in Holly, Michigan and pick up a part for my truck. And while I was out here, I wanted to do a pay it forward segment in the area. I love doing stuff like that in the community. So I'm gonna stop by here and see if anybody wants to join me. So let's go inside. Hey, Steve. Hey, Mike. How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, how you been? Good. Good. Uh, so I'm out in the area, I was doing a pay it forward segment for my show. Oh, nice. I love doing these all the time out here. Yeah. And I want to see if anybody from the dealership or anyone you know wanted to come join me. Uh, I got somebody that's a little goofy though, is that a problem? Uh, the goofier the better. Oh, this is the guy, let's go. All right. Right this way. Perfect. So yeah, anytime I film in an area, I love doing these uh, like random acts of kindness kind yeah. of thing where I surprise strangers in a local community and let them know there's good people in the world still. They must love that. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It will be a ton of fun. So uh, here he is. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, Squatch. Haven't you had enough of me yet? It's you, Mojo. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Just hanging out, getting an oil change and a, and a massage. Oh, it's not a bad thing at all. 
Well, I'm out here doing a pay it forward segment for the show where we get to go surprise some strangers and make their day a little better. You wanna come with me? Absolutely, as long as you're paying. Yeah, absolutely, let's go. All right, so this is one of the things I love to do in the show where I take out guests that we went fishing with um, and, or just anybody that's fun. And we go through drive throughs and we just pay for people behind us um, for a little while and have a good time. And seeing the reaction on people's faces is amazing because it changes their whole day. You never know when the smallest thing can make a big impact. Oh, man. And it's amazing when I, people message me on YouTube all the time when they see these videos too. And they go, you know, that was me behind you and I was having the worst day. And like, thank you so much. And it's something so simple and anybody can do this. So everybody at home, you guys can do this too. It's really easy and fun. So have you ever done anything like this before? We have, yeah, we have. With, well, now with the price of everything being so high, gas, I mean, you got a family that can barely afford to feed you know, their kids that it's, it's cheaper for them to go to McDonald's than yep. it is for them to go to a grocery store. Can I just get a water, please? Okay, you're all set. Thank you. I don't need a water. I'm just paying for people behind us. It's 12 dollars Okay, perfect. So, do you listen to 95.5 at all yes, on the do. radio? So that's Mojo. Mojo, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Hi. Isn't it weird hearing his voice in real life? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's good to see you. Have a great day, okay? All right, we're gonna do a couple more circles. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Uh, hi. Yeah, absolutely. I do, appreciate it. Do you guys listen to 95.5 at all? Absolutely. So that's Mojo. I'm Mojo, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> he paid though. I didn't pay. <laughs> I'm just riding along. Nice. Right, thank you so uh, nice no you. problem, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so that's the coolest part is like, someone could be having a terrible day. Like they could have just gotten a fight with their girlfriend. They could have just got dumped. They could be going through some financial yeah. problems. And then something this simple can literally just, Make you know, them have you ever had a moment like that where you're just like oh, in a yeah. funk and like something stupid just pulls you out of it? Yeah, absolutely. It's usually a girl. Yeah, that's how it usually works. All right, so we got one more car pulling up behind us. Actually, there's two cars pulled up behind us, so we're gonna take care of these two people behind us, and then uh, we'll call it a day. That's great. Sound good? So what do you think of this so far? I love it, I think it's great. I actually, to be honest with you, it's much more comfortable than sitting in a kayak sweating my butt off. <laughs> this, is this is much easier. So this is my favorite part of your show, to be honest with you. <laughs> You're like, I get to sit down the whole time. Yeah, and not exactly. Do anything. <laughs> exactly. I'm just gonna sit here and watch you uh, throw your credit card out the window. <laughs> Especially because you're like, I'm not paying for it. It's even better. <laughs> your sponsors better be spending a lot of money with you. Yeah. You know what though is, I tell people this all the time. If I had five dollars, I'd find a way to give out six. That's I love awesome. making people's day better. And that's and why you're successful. Yeah, you know, I, I define success differently than most people do. Yeah. And being able to do things for people is what I define as success. Listen, I'm so. telling you, it's, it, it, I always believe that, uh, you know, people call it, some people call it karma, I call it divine intervention. I, I feel like you get what uh, you put out, you yeah. know? Here you go, Mojo, from me to you. Oh, you're a kind man. <laughs> Come on. You are a kind, kind Detroit's man. Right there. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Carl. Can I do both cars behind me? Both? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do one at a time, obviously. $147 then? Is it $1.47 is all they ordered? Yeah. She's like 100 Really? Yeah, he's got a cheeseburger. Can you add a $10 gift card? Is that possible? Like, can you charge me for a $10 gift card and then give them a $10 gift card too? Well, I have to do it right here then? Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Mojo, thank you so much for coming along with me, oh, man. Oh, man, this is awesome. It, it was a great time. What do you think of the people's reactions and everything? Oh, I think, well, first off, you, you, you had people that probably couldn't afford what they were buying at that time. Yeah, or they had to choose between food buying, or something yeah, else. Yeah. That you ended up buying gift cards for, and um, to see them drive by and see the smiles on their faces, you made their day. I mean, this is uh, this is awesome. More people need to do this. Well, it's cool is like you do a lot of things for people too, but you don't get to see them through the radio. Right. So like you do it just remotely, where yeah. being able to see them in person is so cool and rewarding, and, and it just gives you the extra feeling of like you know what, I might have done something good today. Well, you made so, some people big fans of yours, so, so that's awesome. And they're already big fans of yours, it looks like. So thank you Great very much job. for coming. I really appreciate it a lot. And you guys at home, make sure you guys try this in your local place too. Don't be afraid to go to a drive-through. It only costs a few bucks per person to make a huge difference and a big impact. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you guys check out this guy at 95.5 or channel955.com or iHeartRadio. Um, and it. check out the Basquatch Hunter on YouTube and Instagram for more behind the scenes footage. Thanks for watching guys. Love it. Squatch, haven't you had enough of me? 
us. He I goes, because <laughs> I know why, because I know it bothers you. <laughs> I say, there's no way you've had all these kids. So this is what happens when you have a guest that talks oh, for a living. Oh my lord! As and he's making friends with everybody on the shore. He's not fishing right now. Okay. He's literally just having conversations with everybody on the shore right now, for like the last half hour. Hey Mojo. Yeah. Here's more natural. Oh, f basquatch. <laughs> Sometimes we don't catch fish, but we always keep good memories. Poetic. It is poetic, and that's what fishing is. It's poetic. Follow us on social media to catch more fish.